Hello there, Mr. Sutton here, bringing you the AB Calculus 3.7 Extra Practice Number 3 Solutions on the Chain Rule. For this problem, we're trying to take the derivative of this quotient, um, so that's immediately going to require the quotient rule. The only thing I can think of is, is if there's a way to simplify these trig functions, but we don't have the same things inside, um, so quotient rule it is. That's u prime v minus uv prime all over v squared. Setting up the box and ribbon to organize all of this, We've got my numerator, two, cosine of 2x plus 3, and denominator, sine of x cubed. Now, these derivatives will both require chain rules. So this is cosine of something. Uh, the derivative of that is sine or negative sine of something, so negative sine of 2x plus 3, times the derivative of 2x plus 3, so that's times 2. Over here, derivative of sine of something is cosine of something, so cosine of x cubed times the derivative of x cubed, which is 3x squared. Multiplying it all out now, we have all this stuff down here times sine of x cubed. And then going the other way, we've got minus cosine of 2x plus 3 times cosine of x cubed times 3x squared, all that stuff. All of it divided by v squared, so sine squared of x cubed. And we didn't have to simplify, so this is it. On this problem, I'm trying to find the derivative of this function. For that, I will use the product rule. So u prime v plus uv prime. And we'll use the box and ribbon to sort things out. I've got my factor of 3x to the fifth. And also in the other box, I'll put 2x minus 3 quantity to the 11th. Now I need the derivatives of these. This first one's pretty straightforward, just using our power rule, 15x to the fifth, or fourth rather, x to the fourth. And then for this next one, I need to use the chain rule. So I have 11 times something, 2x minus 3, to the 10th power, times the derivative of 2x minus 3, which is 2. Multiplying it all out, I've got 15x to the fourth times 2x minus 3 to the 11th, plus 3x to the fifth times all this stuff down here. And we didn't have to simplify, so this is it. To find the derivative of this function, I'm going to have to use the product rule. So u prime v plus uv prime. And now for my box and ribbon, I've got my first factor, 1 plus 4x to the fifth. And the other factor is all this craziness here. Now I need their derivatives, which will both require chain rules. So we've got 5 times all this stuff, 1 plus 4x to the fourth times the derivative of 1 plus 4x, which is 4. Over here, I have 8 times something to the 7th, so the something is all this stuff inside here, times the derivative of the inner stuff, so that's multiplied by 1 minus 2x. Multiplying it all out now to get this pattern here, I've got the stuff in the lower left here times the stuff in the upper right using my ribbon now. So all this stuff times all this stuff, plus we've got 1 plus 4x to the fifth times all this craziness down here. And I'm just going to call that done because I didn't need to simplify. On this problem, I want to take the derivative of this expression. For this, I'm going to need the quotient rule. So u prime v minus uv prime over v squared. For my box and ribbon, I've got my numerator of x and my denominator of 2x minus 3 to the 11th. Derivatives of these are going to be 1, and this is going to be 11 times 2x minus 3 to the 10th times the derivative of 2x minus 3, so using the chain rule here. Um, so that's a 2 for the tail. Multiplying it out now, I have 1 times 2x minus 3 to the 11th, that's the u prime v, minus x times the stuff down here. All of it over 2x minus 3 to the 11th, squared, that's the v squared, and I'm going to call this done. To figure out the derivative of this expression, I'm going to need the product rule, so u prime v plus uv prime. Using my box and ribbon now, I've got sine cubed of x for one factor, and the other one is tan of 4x. These are each going to require a chain rule of their own. Uh, so for the sine of sine cubed of x, this is really sine of x cubed, so the outer function here is something to the third. Derivative of that is going to be 3 times the something squared, so 3 times sine squared of x, 
But now we have to multiply by the derivative of sine itself, which is an inner function. Uh, so that's cosine of x there. Moving on to tan of 4x, that's going to be the secant squared of 4x, secant squared of something, times the derivative of 4x, which is 4. Using the ribbon to put it all together, we've got the stuff in the lower left times tan of 4x plus sine cubed of x times secant squared 4x times 4. And we're calling that done. To find the derivative of this crazy looking function, I could use the quotient rule on here, but I think this is going to be easier if I just rewrite this with an exponent. So negative 2 times cotan of x raised to the negative 1 over 4 power. That would give me a 1 over 4th root situation. And now let me just use the chain rule on this. So we've got, this is really essentially negative 2 times something to the negative 1 fourth. Uh, so using my power rule, I've got 1 fourth and 2 multiplied together. That's going to be 1 half out in front. So 1 half cotan of x to the, this will be negative 5 fourths, times the inner derivative. Derivative of cotan is negative cosecant squared of x. And no need to simplify it, so this is it. To take this derivative, I'm going to use the product rule. So I've got u prime v plus uv prime. And box and ribbon here, I've got a cosine of 5x squared minus 2x in one of these. The other is just sine of x, significantly easier over on that end of things. So now for derivatives, I need the chain rule on this first thing. This is going to be negative sine of something, 5x squared minus 2x, times the derivative of that inner stuff which is 10x minus 2 using my power rule. Derivative of sine is cosine. Using the ribbon to put it all together, I've got all the stuff in the lower left times sine of x plus upper left here, cosine of 5x squared minus 2x times this cosine of x, and we're done. To take the derivative of this function, I'm going to have to use the chain rule. My outer function is tan of something. So the derivative of that would be secant squared of something. So in this case, secant squared of, and I'm going to write this as x cubed minus 2x to the 1 half power. All right, so now I need the derivative of the next function in. Now the next function inside is all of this stuff to the 1 half. It's a, it's a something to the 1 half. Derivative of something to the 1 half is going to be 1 half times the something to the negative 1 half. And then finally, we need to take the derivative of x cubed minus 2x, which is 3x squared minus 2. Just make sure you have a parentheses around that when you're multiplying it. And we're done. To take the derivative on this function, I'm going to apply the chain rule. The outermost rule is that I have something to the third power. So that would be 3 times something squared for the derivative. 3 times 4 plus sine squared of x, all of that squared. Now I need to multiply that by the derivative of 4 plus sine squared of x. Derivative of 4 is just 0, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, but this sine squared of x is also going to require a chain rule. So the outer function here is squaring. I'm going to have 2 times sine of x for the outer part of this. Now I have to multiply by the derivative of sine itself, which is cosine. To find the derivative of this function, I need the product rule, u prime v plus uv prime. So box and ribbon time, we've got secant of 2x plus 3 and cotan of x squared. The derivatives will both require chain rules. So derivative of secant of something is secant of something tan of something. So secant of 2x tan of 3x, or tan of 2x plus 3 rather, and secant of 2x plus 3. Now I have to multiply by the derivative of 2x plus 3, which is 2. Now I have to take derivative of cotan of x squared. Well, derivative of cotan of something is negative cosecant squared of something, the something being x squared in this case. Now we have to multiply by the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. Okay, putting it all together with the ribbon, I've got all this stuff in the lower left times cotan of x squared, plus all the stuff in the upper right, so secant of 2x plus 3 times all this stuff down here, negative cosecant squared and, and the rest of it. And that's done. To figure out the derivative of this function, I'm just going to go left to right and differentiate. So let's first do sine negative fifth of x. This is going to require a chain rule. 
Our outer function here, we have something to the negative fifth power. Derivative of that is going to be negative 5 times the something to the negative 6. So negative 5 sine negative 6 of x. And then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inner function of sine. So that inner derivative is going to be cosine of x. Moving on to the next term, this is going to be minus kind of the same idea, 3 cosine squared of x. And then we have to multiply by the derivative of cosine itself, which is negative sine of x. And we're going to call it a day.